it's going to be going over how you can stop over trading um now i have about 12 slides to go over um i hope that it kind of helps you uh, if you are over trading at the moment and yeah you can find value from it um if you do find value from the video do hit the like button it really does help um but yeah if you are new here hit the subscribe button and let's get into it so before you do anything um ask yourself a few questions question number one is do you have a max amount of trades that you can take in a single day so for example um you know uh I can only take three trades a day, max. Once you hit that three trades, you're done. Stop trading, that day's over. Um, I just need to turn the music down, I forgot about that. Um, okay, actually yeah, I'll go back and I'll go back and do that again. So, um, in case you didn't hear me, um, we're gonna be doing with, uh, in this video, how to deal with over trading. Um, so before you do anything, ask yourself a few questions question number one is do you have a max amount of trades that you can take per day what i mean by that is can you take 50 trades in a single day um you know you can't allow yourself to just have a random number of trades that you would be trading put a figure on it say you know two losers three trades total and once you hit three trades winners or losers you're done for the day and you move on you go and do something else you come back the next day and you're fresh fresh with your trading um you, you're not going to be over trading because you have those set amount of of trades that you can take in a single day question number two is what happens before you over trade so have a look at your um account history um have a look at your journal you know if you've been writing down every single trade what kind of mentality you're having going into that trade have a look at it and whenever you over trade what happens before it like do you go on a losing streak do you go on a winning streak maybe you go on a winning streak and you get too confident which then leads to over trading um so yeah figure out why you're over trading question number three is are you risking too much so if you are risking too much, you may let emotion come in and say, if I risk a little bit more on this trade, I might be able to get that loser back. That is not the mentality that you want. You want to have a mentality of every single trade is individual and no matter what the result, I will trade my strategy. So sometimes if you're risking too much, it can lead to overtraining because of just the emotions of the losses question number four is do i need to change my strategy so this was kind of it's not if the strategy is not working it's should you add a section of time that you're going to be trading should you add the pairs that you're trading maybe you want to reduce the amount of pairs maybe you want to do a short term instead of a long term strategy all of these things lead to emotion which then leads to over trading so um yeah, you, you might need to change your strategy. Question number five, I think, I think this is the last, yeah, this is the last question before we move on to the actual steps to, that you can do. So question number five is, how can I reduce the amount of trades? I did kind of speak about that a minute ago. Um, you can do that by giving yourself an amount of trades that you can take per day, limiting the time that you trade, limiting the currency pairs or uh, assets that you trade there's multiple ways that you can reduce the amount of trades that you're taking but um think about those and maybe consider adding that into your trading as well so now that you've answered those questions um the process that i would say you need to do is get yourself a trading buddy get yourself an accountability partner get yourself a friend that is currently trading and share your trades with them okay share your trades every single trade doesn't matter what trade and keep your um keep your friend accountable so that they can keep you accountable accountable as well next one 
is set a time that you trade. So this this has helped me with my over trading. Um, you know, before I would just open up my phone, open up MT4, have a look at the markets and just take trades. Whereas now I have a set time that I trade. And if I if it isn't that time, then I'm not opening the charts and I'm not taking any trades. It's as simple as that. So set a time that you can trade and stick to it. Next one is have set rules for max trades. Again, set the amount of trades that you can take per day. Maybe you can take three trades in a single session. You trade London and you trade New York. Total of six trades per day. Done. Next one, reduce the risk per trade. So even if you're risking 1%, 2%, whatever, if you're over trading, just reduce, cut the risk in half, right? If you're risking 1% and you're still over trading, reduce it to 0.5% and see if that helps. Um, it should help because you'll have less emotion, um, which will in return help you to stick to your plan. Next one is use an algo to calculate risk. So when you're reducing the risk, you can use an algorithm like we have with Trade Happy um, to reduce um, the kind of urge to trade uh, to change the risk. If you're using MT4 on your mobile or inputting the lots, you can easily bump it up. Right, that there's not too much work that you have to do to change the lot size and increase risk whereas if you're using the algo you have to open the algo up you have to go into the settings you have to change it you have to click ok and then click the trade um it just takes a lot more and you're less likely to actually do that next one and the final one is share all of your trades so you can share it with your accountability buddy your trading buddy you could share it into communities um or you could just post it online, right? You could post it online. The main thing with this is to keep you accountable. If you're not going to be accountable, whether it's to yourself or to someone else, you're just going to continue to be over trading. So at the end of the day, it's up to you if you over trade or not. Um, yeah, it's not the strategy, unfortunately, it's you. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, I hope these kind of steps helped you. If you have any questions, um, you can either put them in the chat or put them in the comment section and um, I'll try and get back to you. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And um, 